Hello everyone, um, thanks for all the nice comments on my last video, I wasn't sure anyone was really still watching, but every time I post something after a long time it turns out that you are, so thank you, you guys are really nice to me, and uh, I appreciate it. So, um, some, some things that I've been thinking about, and this is going to be related to me getting to know myself a little bit better and having understood some parts of myself that I re never really examined until very recently. To be honest, I was just trying to ignore whatever me there was, and I'll get to why. Um, actually, do you know what? That's where we'll start. Um, in school, when I was little, when we start <laughs> forming personalities and whatnot, although, you know, you, you have personality before that, but I digress. People didn't like me very much, um, which I don't think I was really annoying. I don't think I was. I was just kind of a, a nerdy, um, nerdy kid who was easy to piss off. Didn't do my homework, but I did well in school, and the teachers liked me, and that didn't really help. Um, and yeah, I just went through eight, nine years or so not really feeling like anyone liked me or cared about me all that much. So I became very focused on that, on fitting in, trying to get people to like me, trying to like crack the code, figure out why they didn't like me and why they liked everyone else. And it turns out, in terms of us being kids, <laughs> a lot of it was because I would, I was an easy target, like I'd, I'd get emotional if someone fucked with me and or lash back or something like that. So I, I was easy to get riled up and uh, I guess some people really uh, capitalize on that. But I, I tried all sorts of things. Uh, I tried dressing like everyone else that didn't <laughs> that backfired pretty bad. Uh, some other stuff, like I, I tried joining clubs and, and, and getting into the same interests as everyone else and things of that nature. And it's, it just, it just never really worked for me. And it took me quite a few years before I got to a point where I felt like it did. Um, and that's been like the recent couple of years where I feel like, holy shit, like I can go out and talk to someone now and Chances are they'll probably like me, which is something that I'd never have expected in the past. I, I and yeah, I suppose that ties in with uh, with what I was saying earlier because I didn't I didn't expect anyone to 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 like me because I I suppose I'd internalized that whole other people's perception of me so I felt pretty worthless and that made it easy for me to look past what I saw as, as transgression somehow against myself or others and and just appreciate everyone who who would spend time with me regardless of, of who they were otherwise and I, I was just so thankful that I could get people to talk to me <laughs> that I suppose that I sort of drowned out myself in all of it. And that leaves me in a position where sometimes it feels like most people in my life don't really know me because I have been hiding. I've been hiding a lot of stuff from most of them and not really hiding it, but just not saying anything when I would have otherwise because I feel like it would make them dislike me and that's not really honest is it it can't be right um, and it actually makes me feel pretty bad to slowly realize that most people who know me don't really know me at all. 
and that sounds like an accusation of sorts, but it's it's really not. It's it's my own fault. It, it's because of that defense mechanism of, of of burying my ego, basically, in well, in self-deprecation and and just assuming that everyone else is inherently better than me. Now, as I've started to gain some self-worth, I feel like I, I kind of started liking myself a little bit, maybe. I didn't used to, but I, 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 yeah, I did start liking myself a little bit. And that's when it started getting to me, the part about people not knowing me, because it, it all of a sudden I was lonely. <laughs> And when I was ignoring my own ego, I, I was just hit, hitchhiking on other people. You know, I was just, that's probably why I'm so good at fitting in. It's because I, I'm used to doing just that so that there's no me. <laughs> that makes everything easier. And um, I think it's wrong. But I don't know how to be me. And still have some people left who like me. And I'm sure that they'd be there, but it's just the few experiences I've had with expressing my personality have been messy at best and volatile at worst. Because either people don't take me seriously uh, and they try to laugh me off, which honestly is one of the few things that can still piss me off uh, when I'm trying to express something genuine like and and people don't take me seriously like that's annoying um but much more often what ends up happening is that we have an argument because well i suppose they feel like i lied to him by being all accepting and whatnot and then it turns out that i'm not and i'm wondering if i should change like, I'm genuinely wondering if I, but, but this isn't just change my approach to how I deal with other people. It's like, I'd have, I'd have to change my own perspectives. I'd have to change who I am and my expectations of other people and the relations I have with, with them, and be they romantic or friendships or otherwise, because It, it's just it's just very central to me as it turns out I grow very close to people and I I have to be very careful about who those people are and every time it turns out that one of them likes me for something that's not really me that's it's just the worst you know so um Either I'll have to, like, genuinely just nihilism myself up a little bit, get better at letting go and not caring, because that would make me fit in, <laughs> says, says experience. Or if I need to be a little bit steadfast with it. If I, if, because I do... I do feel like it would be an insult to myself to just ignore the person that I feel like I am in the pursuit of making everyone else happy. But the thing is, I've never thought the person I think I am is, is good enough. Uh, and I suppose that's the core of it. And so far, when I've tried letting myself be myself, I suppose. It hasn't been good enough. So, um, let me know if you have any experience with that. If, if any of you are people pleasers, and if any of you have trouble being being liked, if you're being honest, because um, I certainly do. On another note, um, I. Uh, on this channel, I, uh, the last video and whatnot, I said that I would 
was going to start having conversations with people. And I'll try to follow up on some of that. I, uh, I have been looking into it. It's just, you know, things are a lot at the moment. Um, either way. Oh, yeah, by the way. I, I, I know I bought two of those shirts. I thought they were funny. Either way. I... Uh, this is just more thoughts that I was having, and I thought I'd put them out there in case anyone wants to hear them. Um, I hope you all have a, a wonderful day, and that um, fate treats you well. I'm gonna get this.